Hi, you're right there. So this is a last minute hopefully for the second lesson. So it says comparing two sets. So I've got the medium, which talks about average, and I've got the interquartile range, which looks at those, but I like consistency more than anything. So we've got, uh, so we've got Rahana, it's telephone, two taxi companies, times in minutes that she's had to wait by. Uh, by the two different companies are showing the box plot. Compare briefly the waiting times. So if you look, on average, the waiting time for green star is less than the waiting star for blue, uh, for, for blue star. So, so, um, so on average, the waiting time for green star is lower less than the waiting time for blue star. As the medium is lower. If you look at the spread into quartile range, the waiting times for green star is more consistent than blue star because the interquartile range is small. So the waiting time for green star is more consistent than blue star as the interquartile range is smaller. There, so that's that one done. Part B says, give a reason for your choice. Uh, if you wanted it to arrive within five minutes or 25 minutes. So let's have a look at five minutes then. So if you look at five minutes, there's no difference there, is there? So five minutes, who cares? No difference. Go with the cheapest. So look for 25 minutes then. So 25 minutes, we're expecting there to be an issue with 25 minutes out. So if you look, uh, for 25 minutes, there. Now, if you take the upper quartile as 75%, green star, I've got well over 75% of their waiting time below 25 minutes. Whereas Blue Star, because it's on Q3, and that's like 75%. So 75% of his waiting times are below 25. But for Green Star, it's a lot more than 25%. That's 75% of your um, waiting times. So Blue Star has 75% of their waiting times below 25 minutes, whereas uh, Green Star have more. Of their Oof, waiting times below twenty five minutes. There. There's a question for you there. Uh, once again, from the um, from Caboodle, thank you, book, and it's related to the large data set. So some would say very, very useful. Thank you.
Got some questions after that. So that must be. Oh, no, we haven't got questions after that. I've got questions after that. Why have you not got questions after that? That means I've got to keep going. Hang on, let me pause it and make sure I'm not going too far. My pack's slightly reordered to yours, but never mind. Right, further out. So we said about the minimum standard deviation and how it's three times the sigma. So it says. So it says define an outlier that has more, oh, more than two standard deviations. I see three, didn't I? Oh, let's get that right. That's 99.7% of, uh, of your population is free. Shouldn't guess it really. Right, so if you put that data into your calculator, it gives you multiple modes. If you're looking, if you kind of stream down, I'll pause and I'll put it in. Right then. We're back with this, so I've got, we go down a bit more, mode 36, 39, 40, there we go, 36, 39, and 40. Let me do modes. So mode is 36, 39, and 40. Uh, the median from that information is 39.5. Uh, we had the mean, which is the x bar, which is 36.7, and the sigma is 7.33. So there's exactly one outlier in the data. Right, so I'm going to use x bar plus or minus two sigmas this time, not three. So on something that's less than 36.7 minus two lots of 7.33. So that's less than 22.04. Right, so that gives me, show there's exactly one outlier. So this one gives me an outlier here, less than 22 is 13. So 13 is an outlier. If I check the top, if I look at greater than x bar plus two sigmas, so greater than 36.7 plus two times 7.33, that's greater than 51.36. So there's no outlier. So I've got there just one. Uh, give a possible reason for removing the outlier. So this is C part one. Um, it's just a mistake. I accidentally input it. It wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, give a reason for not removing it. It might actually be a valid data item. And then for D, it says, um, so we're going to so if we remove the, the 13, what would it do? So how to so remove the 13, so the mean would increase. Oops. Oh, can't write. So the mean would increase there, but the standard deviation would decrease because my data isn't as spread out. Uh, so I hope that's useful. I'm running out of time, which is why I kind of rushed that. There's a question for you to have a go at, and then hopefully we're on to, oh my god, there's more. I'm going to have to stop there then.